Greetings, trikers, bikers, cagers, and dreamers. You have to have a dream on a day like today. It's a beautiful day to get out for a ride, and I hope wherever you are that you have a chance to do that too. I'm breaking away from a little work I was doing in the garage, working on uh, an old classic bike I've owned since 1991. It's a 1966 BSA Thunderbolt. I bought it on a whim. I've enjoyed it greatly, but it's been years, literally years, since it's been ridden. I'm expecting that uh, when I put fresh oil and gas in it and uh, jump it or get a new battery for it, that it's going to start right up. Because uh, that's just the way it's always been. I know the motor's not locked up. I've kicked it through on a regular basis. Might want to put a little fogging oil in it and kick it through. And obviously kick it through when uh, I get the fresh oil in this uh, dry sump system. Make sure that the oil is returning to the tank and I don't uh, get into a real problem when I wind up with uh, the oil down in the sump and looking for a way out. Not a good sign at all. But uh, I will be uh, getting it uh, going. I had to uh, replace, and well, actually, I'm in the process of replacing the fork gaiters, which, believe it or not, melted all over the springs. And what a mess that was. There's a picture of the bike coming up uh, rather shortly, uh, taken back in the 90s when both the bike and myself were uh, considerably younger than we are now. And uh, it was, uh, there it is. It's a beauty. I loved it. I think that's the day I won uh, a best in show. And uh, I don't know if I can ever get it back to looking that good again, but uh, it'll be somewhere close. You have to enjoy these things. These are, are great experiences with the old motorcycles, and they're kind of fun, and nothing like what we have today, that's for sure. Another thing I enjoy, uh, other than riding my trike, is uh, I like to go and do some uh, target shooting. Uh, I recently acquired uh, an Uberti 1851 Colt Navy. It's a black powder revolver. Uh, it's not something that uh, is for people that like to fire a lot and like to fire fast because it takes uh, Oh, probably five minutes or more to just to load the darn thing because it uh, loads through the front of the cylinder first a charge of uh, a black powder and then uh, a wad and then a round ball that gets crushed down in there and uh, probably a little bit of grease around the ball to prevent uh, chain firing which is something you really don't want to have happening where more than one cylinder fires at the same time not a good situation at all, but uh, I had it out once and I had some technical difficulties that I've since uh, resolved in, in terms of getting the correct powder charge, but it was, uh, it was really kind of silly the way that happened, but uh, <laughs> you know, first time out. Going to the uh, Sheriff's Department range is always a, a good bit of fun. I enjoy doing that, and for $50 a year, I become an associate member of the Fraternal Order of Police. And that gives you access to the range, which is a, a locked uh, situation where you actually have to uh, put a key in a padlock and open up the gate. But once you're in there, you can it's good because it's outdoors and so black powder is not a problem unless the person standing next to you is uh, not going to be appreciating the great clouds of smoke that that thing produces. But anyway, this isn't a video about old guns or new old guns or old uh, BSA motorcycles. It's basically more about being out and enjoying this glorious day for a ride and uh, that is exactly what I'm trying to do and I think I'm being pretty successful at it. Nice country road, not a lot of traffic, just enough to know that I'm not the only person alive and 
No heavy equipment and no tractors bombing along at uh, seven miles an hour when I crest a ridge and find myself suddenly <laughs> bearing down on something that uh, I definitely would not like to run into. That actually did happen to me once. Uh, I was uh, riding my Beezer, or I'm sorry, my BMW, kind of getting ahead of myself here, and uh, came up over the top of a hill on US Route 20 in New York State. And there was that tractor going about that speed, two-lane road, somebody in the other lane oncoming. Uh, I found out how good those BMW brakes were. So long, buddy. See you next time. Now I can pick it up a little, I guess. But uh, I guess uh, you have to have these tests out there once in a while to keep our wits about us and realize that we are sharing the road with uh, all kinds of vehicles. But this is a really nice day for a run. I've uh, probably decided that this is going to be a road I'll probably ride on on a fairly regular basis. Absolutely will, because this is um, really a, a, a great road, and uh, I'm definitely liking it. There are some twisties coming up a little farther down, but uh, it's it's not a very technical road, certainly. I mean, look at it. It's uh, uh, really fairly smooth, not very hilly, but uh, enjoyable nonetheless. Getting out, taking deep breaths, breathing in the fresh air. I hmm. wonder what happened there, with all those uh, black tire marks back there. Somebody coming to a rapid stop, or somebody peeling out, or who knows what. Maybe somebody that uh, spent a little too much time in the gin mill and uh, uh, <laughs> had to do something rather suddenly there, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I digress. I sure would like to know some of the roads that uh, my viewers ride on. I know that... Uh, John and Miriam always seem to have a good road. They're serious uh, trikers and take some long trips and do some camping and a little beyond what, uh, what I do. And great rides. That guy, wow, he's uh, riding all the time and uh, seems like regardless of the weather. I really enjoy watching his videos and kind of miss the days when I was a little more active in my riding as well. But I do get out and enjoy days like this, and uh, I certainly wish the best for what's going on here. Goodbye. Oh, he's going the other way. 322 goes right, so he's not going to be breaking the, breaking the wind for me. Not that I need any help with that. But anyway, uh, still a nice, smooth, fairly straight road. And uh, um, I'm certainly enjoying making my way through this uh, green foliage that we're starting to see now. And uh, on uh, Saturday, April 21st, it's been kind of uh, brown and desolate on some of the earlier videos I made. But uh, the bad news is, of course, that the flowering trees are now turn turning over to the leaves. We're losing our our red bud and uh, our dogwood and uh, our Bradford pears. I think I mentioned them before. They're they're pretty when they're in bloom, but they're also smelly. So here we are, running along, enjoying the ride, and I hope that you folks are that those of you that ride are getting a chance to get out and enjoy the the beginning of the spring which should have began a few weeks ago but around here we've had bouts of 80 degree temperatures rather short ones and then we've had ooh, another left turn we've had uh, nights that have dropped down into the 30s which is not not the usual thing in, in East Tennessee, but uh, 
Well, I don't know. Does that mean we really are having some climate change going on? I don't know. Some people say yes, some people are not so sure. But anyway, this is a little bit different from what we usually have and uh, makes uh, my times for riding uh, a little bit more selective. Boy, there's a guy riding a bicycle, kind of holding up traffic. I think this is a justifiable reason for crossing that double solid, because I can't imagine people want to go there wherever they're going at 15 miles per. That, <laughs> that would not be such a, such a great thing. Certainly turn it into kind of a long ride. Maybe they're thinking he's going to get off to the side, which, well, he doesn't really have to because he owns the road as much as we do. But uh, anyway, I haven't ridden a bicycle in a long time. have a little cough break there. It's uh, definitely allergy season here. The uh, pine pollen is, is like all over everything. You could follow me out to my porch if I was mobile and you could see how everything's kind of this greenish uh, dusty stuff that gets all over everything, including your car if you leave it outside too long. But anyway, that's springtime in East Tennessee, and uh, that's what we get, and that's the name of that tune. Coming to uh, the close of the, the video, 